Alrighty, uh, good evening, YouTube. Um, I'm James Zero here, back with another quick movie review. Um, this one's a, a classic, and possibly what I'm gonna say might be controversial, but of course, I really don't give a shit. So here we go. So, um, this is 1988, uh, Bloodsport, starring uh, John Claude Van Damme or Jean Claude Van Damme, however I, I, however you want to say it, and um. Forrest Whitaker is in this too. Those are like two of the biggest um, names. And of course, Bolo Young, who plays Chong Lee. And Correction, the actor who was on, uh, what was that movie? Into the Dragon with Bruce Lee. He, he looked a lot younger and a much more swoller. Um, but uh, he was very threatening in both films, you know, as I said before. But um, this movie indirectly is kind of a, of a true story. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later because... The guy that it's based off of in these events, it's kind of funny, you know, what I found out about him, you know, like all after the fact. So, uh, it stars, um, I already said who, who it stars, but the main protagonist, his name is Frank Dukes, and he's like a ninjutsu, um, practitioner now. He has his own, like, fighting system, at least that's what the movie said, you know, right after he won the, the Kumite in Hong Kong, um, but he's pretty much trying to fight in this uh in this underground Hong Kong you know turn uh pretty much death match <clears throat> excuse me death match and um to pretty much win the honor of his uh Shidoshi uh from the Tanaka clan I don't know if that guy's real or well the name is fake but if you go behind the scenes the dude that it was supposed to be he's a real guy he, they actually had a documentary about him with the whole ninjutsu um kempo thing and I even saw it before at that um that master I told you that my brother used to go uh study with um in North Carolina uh but he was doing it um in the narrative of the film he was doing it to honor him because the son was supposed to fight in the kumite but he had he had passed away and it really didn't give an explanation on how that happened but um that's pretty much the whole movie um the whole story, uh, more of the behind the scenes stuff, uh, which was a lot more interesting, um, which I don't know where to start. So I'm going to try to make this as informational as possible, possible that I can. But um, pretty much, um, how can I say this? With the Frank Dukes uh, guy that is based off of, Pretty much in a joking way, some people said he's a little bit of a fraud. Like stuff in this movie was a little bit exaggerated, um, mainly because uh, even though I do believe that you know at a certain time, of course, throughout human history, we've had fighting competitions that did go, you know, to the to the death and it's full contact. But uh, of course, at a certain time, if it's illegal, then more of the press and more people find out about it. It's really not under underground anymore. Um, you know. Uh, Places like Thailand, I think they possibly still have comp fight competitions like that. But some of the kumites and matches like in Japan, it's pretty much like how it is in America. You can't hit below the belt. You can't hit in the head. You can't do certain illegal moves or you get DQ'd. You know, um, I know in boxing, I know it's like a certain amount of times you do it before you automatically lose the match. You know, uh, I know you get a flag or a warning and then if you do it again, Depending on what you did, you you know you automatically lose. But um, the fighting styles in this were unique. One style I kind of forgot about in the martial arts world, even though it was racist in this movie, was the monkey fight or the monkey stance. And um, mainly I say that because the black dude was the one who was doing it. Uh, but uh, I know other cultures, you know, even in in uh, the Chinese, uh, they have a monkey um form of kung fu. I can't remember the name of it exactly and then of course you had Muay Thai you had um Val Tudo which was Frank Dukes's uh friend in the movie who would that's what he practiced if you guys ever played um the Tekken video game um the Craig Marta character that was his fighting style I think he is from all it's like a it's Brazilian I think it's Brazilian jiu-jitsu but it was when it was taken and you know over to Australia that's when it became its own thing I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on it. Um, cause I think there's some other methods of fighting that's in there too, as well as, you know, 
uh, jujitsu. I want to say some wrestling as well. Then they called it, 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 you know, Valtudo. It's probably kickboxing as well. And of course, it's American kickboxing. It's karate. Um, and um, there's Taekwondo, which the Chong Lee character does. Um, it's pretty much all the styles I could think of. A lot of them are, you know, East Asian. You know, they you really didn't see much of American stuff in there. Um, you know, uh, probably the American kickboxing. That's the only one I could think of. But it also had like Hungar. You had many different, you know, fighting stances. And like what I said, or styles, I was saying, like what I said in the Enter the Dragon um, review, this was like one of the main source inspirations for, you know, Mortal Kombat, you know, mainly with the Johnny Cage character and, of course, a, a death ma- a, a battle death match, you know. Um, and I know it was another fact I wanted to say, and I bet you that I'm forgetting it. Um, oh, they made sequels to this, um, but... Jean-Claude Van Damme wasn't a part of it. If you got guys ever seen uh, the Matrix movies and I think uh, John Wick. And of course, if you've seen my uh, Mortal Kombat Conquest uh, review, the guy that, that portrays Ciro in that and also one of the agents, he's in the sequels, I think, as Frank Dukes. Um, I know that uh, the protagonist character of um, who played his friend, he came back for those, but... At that moment, it was a it was a cash grab. Personally, I haven't seen those. You know, only seen seen like a few clips. Yeah, the dude did look like him. You know, like one of his stunt doubles, but it really wasn't. You know, it wasn't Van Damme. But um, this was, was like one of his movies. That was one of the, the movies that defined you know Van Damme's prime and, and career. You could say Universal Soldier and Kickboxer, and of course, you know the so called Bad Street Fighter was also. Um, a part of his career as well. I hate when that happens. They, you know, if you don't press play, it'll start going on its own. You know, I wish it would just stay at the screen. But, um, you know, I really hope to get more f- later facts about this film because, of course, a DVD I have, you don't. It's like one of those five dollar DVD bins with no spe- uh, special features on it. But um, another critique is that the fighting, in my opinion, really wasn't that great. And, you know, uh, and I say that be, and it's kind of weird because you had a, a lot of Asian characters, you know, in this, but it just seemed kind of choppy. And I say that because it was like, I know Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee's movies had to be out. Well, especially Jackie Chan. And, and if you see how, you know, he was like the first to really show with Hong Kong cinema you know, especially in the eighties with, with police story, you know, how quick and how fast and how amazing they, they came up with the concepts of fighting. And of course, Jet Li had elevated it with Fist of Legend, you know, as old as that movie is. And I, I was just watching it the other day. It, it, you know, no wonder the guys from the matrix, you know, had emulated in, and, and, um, what Jet Li has said about on the fearless, you know, behind the scenes was that, you know, in their opinion, they're saying it's like the Bible of Kung Fu movies, you know, next to a few other ones, mostly, in my opinion, that Jet Li has been has been in. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. If we have like, again, if you have anything else to say, you know, about this, any other, you know, constructive comment, um, I'm all for it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next review. Uh, adios.